Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. Today in this tutorial we'll write the Python program to print string patterns. Here we'll take string as the input and we'll print its character or alphabets in the different shape. So the input of our today's program is a string. Here you need to enter the string without space. And in the output we'll get the character of this string in the different shape like right triangle shape, pyramid shape, etc. That means we are drawing many patterns today. Today's first pattern is I want to print string in the right triangle shape. Here for example I'll take the string as python. I want to print the characters of the python string in the right triangle shape. Here you can see in the first row I want p, next y, next t, next h, next o and next n. So to print all this pattern I'll use nested for loop method and to write this program first I need to take the input from the user. So in the python file first I'll take a variable called str1 and I'll use input function to take input from the user. I'll write a message enter string within the double quotes. And here I'm using python3 to write this program. So in python3 by default this input function will take input as the string value. And here we want string input. So no need to do anything here. Right now we are done with the input. Next we need to print the character of the string in different shape. First we want to print this in the right triangle shape. So to do this I'll use nested for loop. So first I'll take for loop for row. And here I'll use range function and inside that I'll take for loop for column. Here i and j are the variable which are representing row and column respectively. And in the range function I need to mention how many rows I want. Here in this range function I need to mention how many columns I want in each row. Because we are taking the for loop for column inside the for loop for row. Here I need to mention how many columns I want in each row. Let's see how many rows and columns we want in our output. So here in this first pattern, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we want 6 rows. We will get this pattern when the input string is python. Python string contains 6 characters, right? That's why here we can see 6 rows. If my input string contains 7 characters, then I want 7 rows in my output pattern. So the number of rows in the pattern dependent on the, the length of the string. So first I need to find here length of the string. For that I'll use length function, len function. Here I'll take variable name as length which will store the return result from this function. Here I'm using len function, len function to find out the length of the string. Now here how many rows I want? I want length rows, right? Next here I need to mention how many columns I want in my pattern. When I take row range as length, that means we are taking the range from 0 to length. For example, if length is 6, then range will be from 0 to 6. So we can get i value as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total 6 values starting from 0. So in my pattern, row becomes this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now at row 0 I want one column, at row 1 I want two column, at row 2 I want three column. That means I want row plus one column in every row, right? And here we took i to represent the row. So I need to mention here i plus 1. I want i plus one column in every row. And inside this I need to print the character of string. That's why I'll take str1 and I'll use indexing method to access the character of the string. And here I need to mention, here you can see in row 0 I want p. So our input string is this python. So in row 0 I want p and at row 1 I want y. At row 2 I want t. If I take str1 of row that is str1 of i then I'll get this pattern. If I print str1 of i and here I'll take end parameter and I'll take end as the space. In print function, the default value of end parameter is slash n. That is after printing any message, control will go to the next line. But here after printing one character in a row like this, after printing this y, I want this y next to that, right? In the same line. That's why we need to take end as space. And inside the first for loop in this 
for loop for loop for row i'll take print function here end parameter will take the default value slash n so it will go to the new line so here we are using this print function for the new line that is after printing one row we need to go to the next row and we need to print next row in the next line right that's why we are using this print function so now we are done so let's execute this save and execute and here enter the string so i'll take the string as python and here you can see the output next for the next pattern if i want to print this pattern for this no need to change anything else just here change instead of i take j that is we want to print this pattern and in this pattern you can see every column contains same character here you can see column 0 contains p column 1 contains y right that's why for column the variable name is j so here you need to take j and if i execute this now we'll get different pattern that is the second pattern here you can see and the next pattern of today's tutorial is this i want to print this string in the right triangle shape in this shape here in this pattern first we want to print space after that we want to print the characters here you can see right so here before taking the for loop to print the character we need to take the for loop to print the space so in the program here before taking this using this for loop we are printing the characters in the column right before doing that we need to take the for loop for space so for that let's see how many space we want in each row here the string is python the length of string is 6 here in the 0th row we want 1 2 3 4 and 5 space and first row we want 4 space and in the second row we want 3 space in third row we want 2 space and in the fourth row we want 1 space and at last row we want 0 space for this we'll use the formula length minus i minus 1 here length is 6 and minus i means here we'll represent row as i so length is 6 i is 0 here and minus 1 so 6 minus 1 will get 5 space and when length is 6 i is 1 6 minus 1 will get 5 5 minus 1 will get 4 space 6 minus 2 minus 1 so we'll get 3 space so to print this space we'll take the formula as length minus i minus 1 here you need to take length minus i minus 1 and here we need to print space we want this many space and here also i'll take end as empty string or space whatever you'll take here you need to take that here also if you are taking end is equal to space here also you need to take end is equal to space now next after that we'll print the character so let's execute this and we'll see now here we can see we are getting the pattern in this shape we just added this for loop to print space before the characters next if you want to print this pattern then here you need to take str1 of i and if i execute this we'll get this pattern next if i want to print this string in the pyramid shape then how to do that for this in the program we just need to remove one space from here if i remove one space here we will get the characters in the pyramid shape now let's see that here you can see and if you want another pattern then you you can print here j and here you can see another pattern so if you want to print these things in the pyramid shape then here you need to remove one space if you give the space between the characters then uh, we will get the pyramid shape next if i want to print pattern like this first i want python next to pyth pyt pyp then how to do that here we can say first we want character after that space so no need to take this for loop so i'll cut that no need to print the space before the character so i'll remove that and here in this for loop Okay, so in this pattern we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is the row number. At row 0, I want the character in 6 column. At row 1, I want the character at 5 column. Here 4, here 3, here 2, here 1. 
so that's why what i'll do is i'll take i want here length is 6 and here i want 6 character first right so i'll take length minus i i want length minus i in every row here length is 6 minus i so at row 0 6 minus 0 we'll get 6 column at row 1 6 minus 1 so i'll get 5 column at row 2 i'll get 6 minus 2 4 column okay it will work like that so we want length minus i column in every row okay now if i execute this we'll get pattern like this python pytho pyth pyt pyp and if you want another pattern you can print here i So to get string in this shape, you need to take length minus i column in every row. Next, now if I want to print like this. So here we can see first we want to print space here. After that we want to print character. So first we need to include the for loop for space. After that we need to take the for loop for this character. So here we need for loop to print space. So here I'll take print space and is equal to space and here let's see how many space we want in each row. Here we want zero space, here we want one space, here two space, three space, four space, five space. That is nothing but the row values, right? This is row zero, row one, row two, row three, row four, row five. And we want that many space in every row. That's why here I'll take I want i space okay so now if i execute this we'll get different pattern like this and uh, if you want here j here you can see another pattern and the next shape is i want to print the string in this shape in this triangle lower triangle shape so for that here in this program what you need to do is you need to remove one space from this okay and if I execute this now you can see the pattern here what we need to do is in this pattern we need to give space between the characters here while printing the space we don't need space there here while printing the space don't take end is equal to space take end is equal to empty string and while printing the character take end is equal to space then you'll get the pyramid shape you want another pattern take i here here you can see and our next pattern is this we want to print alphabets of string in this shape we already discussed about this shape previously in this program when we enter string as python it will print string in this shape but here you can see we are getting P first, next Y, next T, next H, next O, next N. In our next pattern, I want to print first N, O, T, H, Y, P in the reverse order. Okay, so to print this pattern, I'll use the same program and I'll do few changes here. First here we can see we are taking the input and we are storing that in str1, right? If I take the input as Python, then str1 becomes Python. When I find out length, I'll get 6. The length of uh, python string is 6. Next we will execute for loop for i in range. So i value becomes 0 first next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And also if I want to access uh, individual character from this string then I need to mention str1 and its index and its index start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And because I took range from 0 to length starting from 0 so we will get p first next y next t next h next o next n in our pattern. But now we want n first, next o, next h, next t, next y, next p. First I want to access this n which is present in the fifth index. This is at fourth, three, two, one, zero. Right? So for that what you need to do is you need to change this range. You need to reverse this range. First you need to take length minus one. Because if I take length, length will become six. But here we need to start from phi index phi so you need to take range as length minus 1 till minus 1 that is the end 
that is when i becomes minus 1 don't execute the loop body that is the ending point here end is exclusive right we need to get row as 5 4 3 2 1 0 till 0 that's why you need to take end as minus 1 and here you need to take step as minus 1 in the range function step is an optional parameter and by default it is plus 1 but if i want to print the numbers in the reverse order you can take the step as minus 1 like this so here when i enter input as python its length is 6 so length minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 so this for loop will work for range 5 minus 1 minus 1 so i can be 5 4 3 2 1 0 so here instead of taking the row number as 0 1 2 3 4 5 we are taking it in the reverse order that is first this is 5 4 3 2 1 0 we are changing the row number that's it next in this pattern first we want to print space so let's see how many space we want in each row at row 5 we need 0 space at row 4 we need 1 space at row 3 we need 2 space at row 2 we need 3 space at row 1 we need 4 space and at row 0 we need 5 space so to get this space i'll take the formula as here length is 6 and these are the i value minus i minus 1 if i take length minus i minus 1 then here length is 6 minus i is 5 6 minus 5 1 1 minus 1 0 so we'll get 0 space here when length is 6 i is 4 6 minus 4 2 2 minus 1 1 we'll get one space here okay it will work for that so we need length minus i minus 1 space here so here in the for loop to print space i need to take range as length minus i minus 1 i want that many spaces next here in this for loop to print the alphabets let's see how many alphabets we want in each row here we want six alphabets here you can see here we want five here we want four three two one that is nothing but i plus one right we need i plus one alphabets so here you need to take i plus one Alright, so now we are done. Here we need to change the range. That's it. Now if I execute this, it will give output in the reverse order. And for the next pattern, that is this pattern. In this pattern, you need to do one more thing. That is here you can see in every column of a row, we need to reverse the string. First here we want N, next O, next T, next T, H, next Y, next P. That's why... Here you need to change this index also. You need to reverse this index also. First here we want 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Because in Python, n is present at index 5, right? So here n, o, t, h, y, p. That's why we need to reverse the index of this column also. That is where we want to print the characters, alphabets. So to reverse this, first here we want 5, next 4, next 3, next 2, next 1, next 0. That's why here you need to take i minus 1, minus 1. You need to reverse this range also. And here you need to take j. And now if I execute this and if I take python, here we can see python is reversed. So now if you ask why I am not taking i plus 1 here in instead why I am taking i minus 1 minus 1. So we took length minus 1 as the starting value for range. So i initially becomes 5. So here in this for loop i is 5 minus 1 minus 1 right. So initially j value will be 5. So it will print whatever present in str1 of 5. str1 of 5 in the index 5 the alphabet n is present that's why it will print n next j value becomes 4 so it will print whatever the value present in fourth index next j value become 3 it will print character whatever present in the third index okay that's why we need to change this index here i'm not taking i plus 1 that is because if i take i plus 1 when i value is 5 i plus 1 is nothing but 6 so initially j value will be 6 if i take str1 of j that means I am accessing the character which is present in the 6th index of str1. So we will get error. So that's it about this pattern. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you next class. Till then take care.